This is it, sir. I suspect Havelock Martin and Lord Pendleton landed there a while ago and went into the lighthouse. Knowing them, they're not giving up without a fight. I remember hearing the Admiral and Martin talking about this place as where they'd hold up if they had to. Anybody going in has to breach the fort and the gatehouse. Then there's only one way to the top. All I can say is that it's been a pleasure serving with you. Maybe after all this is settled, we'll see each other again. Good luck, Corvo. If anyone deserves it, you do. Give my best to Emily. After she's on the throne, she won't have time for an old man like me. I knew you were sharp, Corvo. But somehow you managed to get through all this mess without losing sight of what really matters. For that, I respect you. The city's gonna pull itself up, I believe. Too many good people here to let it all turn to ashes. I'd best be going. The battlefield's no place for an old sailor like me. That time is long past. Good luck, my friend.
me! Samuel, a useless old man, hungry for purpose, couldn't be with us tonight. Me, unjustly dismissed from the Navy over an affair of honor. This is all Martin's fault. If we hadn't helped Corvo get out of prison, if Corvo hadn't been so damn good at his job, if we hadn't gotten greedy and afraid, if... Always too sure that was my problem. Never hesitated. Too sure of what I wanted. Too sure of what I wanted to do when other men stopped to consider. Saw it as a weakness. I know Corvo's coming for me just like he came for the others. Crossing the island below like it was nothing. It's only a question of how and when. But I'm lacking a counter move. It's all fallen apart. All the steps that led us here made sense. When I was young, I went to sea, took command of a ship, and made aimless men into sailors, made a collection of boats into a navy, then founded a conspiracy and almost led an empire. No compromise, never showed mercy, never showed weakness. I showed the world what mattered, will and vision, and not being afraid of getting dirty. And now, I'll lose it all to a man with a faster sword hand. Or is it that he has a slower sword hand? There's something wrong with the world. It'll make a good story for the history. I'll have a good epitaph. We've done such things. Cowardly things that I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? Even if things are better? No, no, that's not how it works. Once the bureaucrats step in, everything gets muddy. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one can know. And could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move, and we need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. In his time, he commanded a noble lord, a high overseer. Yeah, nice. The man who brought down a tyrant, Admiral Haddon. Son of the High Ocean. Corvo! Help me! Corvo! I knew you'd come. Is it going to be okay now? Will I be Empress? So ends the Interregnum, and now Emily Caldwin I will take her mother's throne after a season of turmoil. You will stand at her side, Corvo, guiding her young mind and protecting her from those who seek to exploit her or cause her harm. You watched and listened when other men would have shouted in rage. You held back instead of striking. So it is, with the passing of the plague and Emily's ascension, comes a golden age, brought about by your hand. And decades hence, when your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, 
at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb, because you are more to her than royal protector. Farewell, Corvo.
Safe and the wires are thinner, cheap with a high price tag. Living in a place that is plagued by the sinners, no trade learned from the dead. Too many humans not doing a thing. Why is the place that you're going important so rude to the people in lanes? You forgot that this isn't a game. All those people you got off have names. They live in a life they can't change. Limited money, the ball and chain. Living for money, you're all deranged. Keeping it real life, you're living, you're still in the fight through your gutter. A ghetto where creeps come and stutter and shoot up in mud. So hot, you can melt down like butter. I wonder what's gay. Or at least find some shade. Living life in a slow lane. And it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Got a weapon on me. Every day I see. A new freak on the street. Like one, two, three. All around me. They surround me. All around me. Like, like one, two, three. All around me. They surround me. All around me.